So this is regarding the pharyngeal arches, the branchial arches later they develop. The, there are six pharyngeal arches in the human body. But remember, there are six, but we have only five. That's why. Uh, this is because no human structure result from the fifth arch. The arches in the human are one, two, three, four, and a six. So totally it's gonna be a five, but the number will be up to six. Now the confusion starts, right? So nothing to worry guys. Definitely you will remember for a longer time. I will tell you how to remember. Okay, let me start with this. On a first branchial, uh, what is it going to cause? Pharyngeal arch. Um, briefly, I will tell you that um, the first three, the first three, okay, one, two, and a three, uh, they give rise to what we call structures above the larynx. Okay, the structure above the larynx. And the next two, the last two, what you can say, like a four and six, gives rise to the structure that contributes to the larynx and the trachea. Larynx and trachea. Okay, guys? So this is the basic about uh, what you call um, pharyngeal arches. And remember, the pharyngeal arches, they develop at the fourth week. Fourth week. Of gestation they start developing are there at that time and the other important thing is they develop from the mesoderm mesoderm okay so they are mesodermal in origin there are two parts left and the right blah 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 I don't want to go in detail because that is not important for you assembly step one or for any board examination okay guys so let me start with this and let me start with the first pharyngeal arch that's known as, can you guess, that's known as M-A-N-D-B-U-L-A-R, mandibular, yes, you're right, mandibular. This is, the first is known as a mandibular arch, okay. Um, I'm going to discuss in the four components, five components, sorry. One is a muscular, the muscles that are, that arises from this arch. Skeletal structures that arise from this, the nerve, the artery, and the corresponding pouch structures. Okay, so we'll go with these what do you call um, headings. So let me change the color and let me start a discussion on this. From the first pharyngeal arch, there's a mandibular arch, the muscles that arises from the this arch are muscles of mastication, like muscles of mastication okay and anterior belly remember this is very important anterior belly of digastric okay the anterior belly of digastric muscles of mastication malohyoid mm -hmm. Melohyoid, tensor tympani, tensor tympani, okay, and tensor valley palatine. Palatine. So the structure arises from the first pharyngeal arch, there's a mandibular arch. The muscles that arises are muscles of mastication, anterior belly of digastric, melohyoid, tensor tympani, tensor villi, palatini. So these are very important. Okay, guys. So let me move on to the skeletal structures that develop from this pharyngeal first pharyngeal arch. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let it be here. Uh, let me go on to this structure. Let me change the color. Oh my god. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, let me change the color now. 
right one okay the skeletal structures i'm going to talk about this okay the skeletal structure that arises from this pharyngeal arch are maxilla maxilla and the mandible but not whole of mandible okay you can remember mandible mm -hmm. and the incus then malleus malleus then meckel's cartilage meckel's cartilage okay and anterior ligament of malleus anterior ligament of malleus okay and the spino mandibular ligament spino mandibula ligament okay so these are the structures the structures arising from the skeletal structure arising from the mandibular the first arch that are maxilla mandible incus malleus meckel's cartilage anterior ligament of malleus um, then cephanous uh, cephano mandibular ligament okay guys Let me move on to the next. I don't want to clear this because I want to keep the mandibular arch because this is going to be taking a very big topic. So you might forget on which arch I'm going to talk about. Okay, the now the next component, the small components are. Okay, where does this go? This goes like this. Okay, let me write over here. Change the color. The first one, I'm going to talk about the first one, that is a mandibular, okay? So mandibular, remember, mandibular, it should be like this, okay? The mandibular, right? The nerves, I'm going to talk about the nerves arising from this. What are the nerves arise from this? Is a trigeminal, trigeminal, okay? Trigeminal nerves, okay, that's a V2 and a V3, V2 and V3. Okay, now the artery that arises from this, the artery that arises from this arch are maxillary artery, maxillary artery, and external carotid artery, external carotid artery. Okay, guys. And the corresponding structures that arise from this, let me change the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blue one. Okay, the corresponding pouches structures are station tube. Okay, station tube. Then we have middle ear. Okay. And the what do you call a uh, mastoid antrum? Mastoid antrum, okay. And the inner layer of tympanic membrane, inner layer of tympanic membrane, okay. Tympanic membrane. So these are the things that developed from the first pharyngeal arch. Okay, guys. So try to memorize this and try to watch this video again and again. And I'm sure this will help you a lot. So let's move on to the next, what do you call, uh, pharyngeal arch. Clear this. Okay. Let's move on to the second one. Okay. The second one is also known as hyoid arch. Okay. Hyoid arch. You can call the muscular structures that develop from this. Okay, the muscular structures change color. Okay, the muscular structures that develop from this are muscles of facial expression, muscles of 
facial expression okay this is a very important and the buccinator buccinator then we have platysma platysma sorry spelling is really um platysma stepidius stepidius then we have stylohyoid stylo hyoid and the posterior belly of digastric posterior posterior belly of digastric okay so guys the posterior belly of the digastric arise from the second pharyngeal arch that's a hyoid arch okay whereas the anterior belly of the the digastric uh, arises from the first pharyngeal arch look this is a muscle but it has a two heads one you can call as the anterior and the posterior anterior belly arises from the first and the posterior from the second okay guys this is really very important okay let me clear this and this is I'm talking about the second pharyngeal arch okay change the color now let's move on to your favorite color green the skeletal structure that arises from this are stapes okay then we have styloid process styloid process process remember this is a process okay and then we have hyoid that's a lesser horn and the upper part of body okay that's why the name of this arch is hyoid arch okay and we have a uh, rich's cartilage cartilage okay and stylohyoid ligament stylo hyoid ligament okay guys so this is a skeletal structure that arises from second pharyngeal arch okay the nerve supply I would like to tell here only okay the nerve not this nerve supply I'm very sorry for that the nerves arising from this are the only one nerve that's very important that's a facial nerve remember facial nerve cranial nerve okay cranial nerve no 